Hello guys, it's Johnny Time and welcome to another DeFi tutorial. Merry Christmas, of course. And I promised you another tutorial, an educational video about the difference between basic sell and unlimited sell on PancakeSwap IFO. And also I will explain what is the overflow method and how it works. And this is your video, guys. So if you're interested in the IFO PancakeSwap, get educated and watch this video till the end to really understand how it works and how you can maximize your yields and returns from the IFOs on Package swap. But before we start, make sure to subscribe and click the bell notification button so anytime I post this kind of interesting educational videos, you can watch them as soon as possible. Also, there is this new Discord community where can you DM me or basically ask questions if you have any questions about the IFO, about interesting other projects. And we're gonna talk here about different projects in a DeFi farming opportunities. Um, if you need any faucet or anything else, basically this is uh, the community for you so come and let's get and evolve in DeFi together now without further ado let's get started with the explanation between pancake swap ifo basic to unlimited sale All right, so when you go to the IFO page, pancakeswap.finance slash IFO, you can see that the upcoming uh, IFO is gonna be the Diviner protocol. Maybe I'm gonna post this video a little bit later, so it might be a different IFO. And you can see that there is a basic sell that 30% of the total set is allocated to basic sell, 7. Point million DPD tokens, and 17% is allocated to unlimited sell. So now you might ask yourself, what is this thing? What's the difference? Should I participate in basic sell? Should I participate in unlimited sell? And today we're going to address all these kind of questions. So you have two options to uh, uh, participate in basic, unlimited sell or both. Now let's try to understand what it is. But before we understand what it is, we try to understand what is the overflow method. So you can see in this kind of example, Divana protocol, they want to raise in the basic sell $180,000. What happens if people commit more than $180,000? Then they cannot give uh, the 7.2 million DPD tokens because they don't want to raise one, more than $180,000, which means that any additional dollar that is being staked in this kind of uh, basic sale, any um, cake that is being deposited into this pot, and if the, uh, basically the amount is gonna be more than 120, 80, thousand dollars this is the overflow and the overflow is going to be sent back as cake tokens to the users and only this kind of hundred eighty thousand dollars of cake tokens will be burned in the end of the ifo and uh, the dpt tokens will be given the same goes here you can see that the the allocation is a little bit higher it's four hundred and twenty thousand dollars of dpt tokens and and you're gonna get uh, 70 million DPT tokens. And this is exactly what the overflow means. And they explain it right here on the docs. You can check out the docs. I'll put links in the description below. What is the overflow sale method? Basically, the more you put in, the more you will get. And you will get back anything that doesn't get spent. So how they know how much you get. So the more you put in, this is your more percentage out of the pot, which means that you will get more DPT tokens. And all the tokens that you are not gonna get the, the basically the um, anything that is not spent, you're gonna get back to your wallet. And this is the overflow cake that you deposited. But if you will commit more cakes, you'll get more allocation in the IFO. It makes sense in a way. And the overflow method users can subscribe as much or as little they want into the IFO. And their final allocation will be based on the amount of funds they put in the pre in as a percentage of all funds put in by other users at the time the sale ends. So let's say you put $10 and people put in total $100, then you will get 10% of the pool. And let's say people put five million dollars you put let's say one million dollars so you have 20 percent of the pool and also the uh, funds to raise is only five hundred thousand dollars then a lot of cake will be sent back to you because one million dollar is much more than 420 dollars so you will take the 500k so basically you will be able to commit 500k um, divided by um, mmm let's do 500k multiplied by a uh, 0.2 because this is 20 percent so out of your one million dollars only one hundred thousand dollars will be added 
to the IFO, you will get the DPT tokens for this kind of $100,000 and your rest 900K will be sent back to, the, to your wallet. This is the overflow method and this is how it works. And I hope it makes sense. If it still doesn't make sense, please make sure to ask in the comments below or DM me on Discord or write in the general group in Discord. Now, when you, once you understand what is the IFO overflow, you can see right here in the previous cell of the Santos FC tokens, you can see that people committed $21 million even though they wanted to raise only 300K. So it was, this is the basically 8,020, 8,291% more than they wanted to sell. And in the unlimited sale, people committed almost half billion dollars, 72,000 percent more than they wanted to raise, which is 7,700 cakes, 7,800 thousand dollars, which means that a lot of cake tokens are sent back as uh, unspent cake tokens sent back to the bots. Now let's try, one way, once we understand the overflow method, let's try to understand what's the difference between basic cell and unlimited cell. So the basic cell, the main difference um, is that you can actually click here the uh, question mark button or just go to the article and this kind of article of IFO 2.0 and understand the difference. So this is the basic cell. Want to participate in iPhone and get the most bang for your buck? This is for you. The basic session, each person contrib contributed maximum of $100 equivalent to cake BNB LP tokens, but it's not gonna be cake BNB. I think it's gonna be only cake. Yeah, they change it only to cake. So you can commit up to $100 in the basic cell. The amount of tokens available in this form will typically represent around 30% in total sale, like you can see here, 30% in basic and 70% in unlimited. So you can stake and contribute maximum $100. Know that the final location you will see will, see, will still subject to the total amount raised in this session, but the good news is you are not battling any well. So because you can stake only and participate only with $100, so in this kind of pool, uh, there will not, there will be no wells that put win millions of dollars and kick you out of the sale. So this is equivalent amount of portion that everyone participate. Here it's different, which means that you can, and uh, in, in the unlimited, you can guess that it's gonna be different. Uh, can people just create multiple accounts and participate? Yes, but in order to create an account, you need to create a PancakeSwap profile, which costs 1.5K, which what 1.5K, which is around $20. So it will not be um, actually uh, profitable to do it. And the unlimited cell, basically you can stake how many cakes you want and lock how many cakes participate in how many cakes you want, but you're gonna pay fee for this. So the additional fee starts for from 1%. So there is kind of fee that is starting from 1% and the more cake is being added to this kind of unlimited sale, the fee goes down. The amount of tokens available in this format will typically account for 70% of total sale. You can see that in the previous sale will be 70%. Here it's also in the upcoming sale it's 70% in the unlimited sale. And the participation fee will start at $1, which is only applied to your contribution to the unlimited session. So it's not applied to all the cake that you put in the sale, but only the cake that are used to buy the IFO token, which is DPT in that case. The 1% participation fee decreases in cliffs based on the percentage of overflow from the unlimited portion of the sale. So if the multiplier is 10x, then the fee will be 1%. If the multiplier is 50x, it will be half percent and et cetera, et cetera. So you can see here in the previous IFO, the fee was 72,000, which is 720x, which means that the fee that was applied is 0.2, which is the lowest fee right here. You can see 0.2 because it's 500x, more than 500x is 720x. And this is the fee that you're gonna pay on the sale. Where does the participation, participation fee goes? Of course, it's gonna get burned and it's gonna help the cake supply and the cake economy, which is super cool. So the more people participate, the higher the fee and the more cake will be burned. And let's take an example, the previous sale of the Santos, you can see that it was 720x from the commitment, the, the, from the funds that wanted to raise, they wanted to raise 700K and there was staked and added $431 million. And that's why the fee was 0.2%. And you can see how it affected the price per Santos token. So if in the basic sale, you got the Santos tokens for $2.5, 
This is the price per Santos initial price, but because the 0.2 fee, the price per Santos was $6, almost 3x more. So you could still get those Santos tokens, but in a worse price, in $6 in terms of, instead of $2.5 because of the participation fee. And this is basically the difference between basic sell to unlimited sell. This is the overflow method. I hope that this video uh, educated you and made you understand in a better way how the iPhone works. And also I have video about the iPhone 3.0 and all the changes that has been added with the iPhone cake pool. So make sure to check the video about the iPhone 3.0. I'll put link in the description below or just search for search for PunkSwap iPhone 3.0 Johnny time and you will find it very, very easily in YouTube. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below about the basic sell, unlimited sell, or just general questions, or even better, ask them in the Discord community. If this guide was helpful for you and you learned something, please consider helping me by clicking the like button. And if you would like to get more videos like this in the future while they're hot, subscribe and click the bell notification button so you can get Master DeFi Master here with me in Johnny time. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.